Hello gang, today we are going to install the SCAD Technologies tank monitoring system. It's been highly recommended by a couple of people in the marine world, but we're going to do an RV application for it. Here's the instructions and you can see they call for drill with a one and a half inch bit or 13 millimeter, 22 to 18 gauge putt splice termina uh, terminations, and then some three stranded or three conductor 22 uh, gauge wire. However much you need will just be uh, depending on the run that you want to make from the monitor to the tank itself. Uh, some isopropyl alcohol and one Phillips screwdriver. Hmm, one Phillips screwdriver. All right. This is what comes in the kit right here. We've got the copper sensors on the end right here. And they will attach to the three-stranded wire, which I have this big spool of. We've also got the sensor uh, tape. This comes with an inline fuse that will be somewhere off of the ship's power and that will run inline to uh, these. This is the module that plugs into the back of the tank monitor itself and the little screws for mounting it. So one Phillips screwdriver. I don't believe that so I'm going to at least be armed with this stuff. This is a wire stripper and of course some sort of fastener. I just always find that I need a voltmeter for something. A carpet knife or a workman's knife, whatever, just for stripping wires or uh, for whatever reasons come up. Now, with the connectors we've shown are these little uh, pinch splice. Um, that's for tapping into the ship's power without having to cut wires. Um, and this is with just a little doodad right here that I thought was kind of neat. That's just a little push. You just push your wires in there and it makes a connection. Um, this right here, that's optional. It's a label maker just because if you got wires that wind up being different colors, which I'm going to have over here. This is a red, white, and green stranded, three stranded, uh, my 18 gauge wire. Um, so I already know those are going to be not matching up. So just in case. And it also calls for some isopropyl alcohol to clean uh, the, the uh, tank off where these sensors are going to um, apply. So since we have a global pandemic right now, we're going to use Everclear instead. And the Captain Morgan is just for our attitude because this just never goes easy. So today we're going to do it on an RV application and we'll get over there to the RV and we'll get going. All right, so here we are at the rig and it's going to go back here to where your holding tanks live. And so we've got our sensor tape here that um, is going to be applied. This one would be the black tank on this side, gray tank on this side, future expansion. The, the uh, instructions say cut it about an inch from the top of the tank and that's fairly convenient. This is a little bit more than an inch below the top of the tank but we should be able to calibrate it. We'll put them two to four inches apart with isopropyl alcohol and then the sensors will attach and they'll be run via wire which we've already fish taped down through Straight up there is the head, and that is where we're going to attach the uh, gauge and the sensors. Fairly short run. This is just a fish tape part in the pilot line, so we'll go from there. So stepping into the rig, um, how quickly it becomes a disaster. But you know, this is the standard crap that comes with these things, these little push button yellow dots or red dots, and they're junk. And this is not going to be cost effective or a little bit problematic to try to run that little gauge to here. So we are going to put it back here. What we've done is we pulled out, these are all the access ports we have inside the head here that we can get to right down there underneath the toilet. And then that's the water heater right back there. And where we have this pilot line run is right through there. You can see it right here. And we're going to hook our three strand wire, fish tape it down through there. And we've decided that um, just because it's about the best idea we have right inside there, you can't quite see it, but we've got power that is shipped straight to the batteries. So that's what we're going to run our power off for our uh, tank indicator. And we're going to mount it right where this panel would go right here because it's removable and if we decide in the future that we want to move it we were thinking about maybe moving it to here or here and so that way you know you don't have to be up at the front to check your uh, 
uh, gauge or anything like that. You'll just have it right back here, and it's a pretty short run for our power. So that's the game plan right now. All right, so here we are. We're fish taping, running our three strand. I think it's three strand. Okay, and then here is our what plugs into the monitor. All right, so what we've done is we've fish taped our wire and we got the first set of wires from the um, actual plug that plugs into the back of the uh, gauge. Uh, the white wire is the sensor power. That's the power that, that powers the uh, sensors down on the tank. The black wire is the sensor ground. And then the blue wire, of course, is the signal that comes from the sensors to the gauge. You got a couple left over. You got a red. That's going to be where we hook up to the ship's positive via this uh, inline fuse and then the ship's negative um, and then the orange wires if you that's left over that's if you want some sort of an external alarm it's a one amp guy so time to we keep hooking stuff up with that today yeah we've got to kind of run where we think it's going to be so we're going to start down back down below we're going to get the sensors hooked up all right so the upstairs portion is somewhat done i usually i really like these little push connectors they did pretty good underneath here you can see where we spliced in we'll clean that up a little bit nothing but a little duct right there and we got all these wires this is the plug that's going to go in we're going to put this panel back in drill a hole and then screw those back in neaten all this up um, so now down below to hook up the sensors on the tank Okay, we actually do have isopropyl alcohol. Much as we wanted to use the booze. Are we putting it here? Yeah, are you recording? Uh-huh. Okay. Alright, yep. That's the first step. Did you mention that eventually we're considering putting one over here too? Yep. Now wait. So all, all the so, way to the top and down. Yeah, the, your, the instructions say that it approximately inch from the top, but we're going to go all the way up to where the tank actually, um, where the clamps hook up on the tank. So that's our limitation, is that we can't go any higher than that. So we'll run them all the way up. We're going to cut the two strips and put them as far apart as we can, only over to that L there. All right, press firmly into place. Release the cracking. Unhook these guys. Try not to get any of your gooey finger oil on them. And it says it doesn't matter where they're placed vertically. Okay. There's one. Try to make it close to being the same. Look about the same. Well, that's a little higher, I think. Okay. Oh, can't tell. I hit it sideways. Alright. So there's those guys. Okay, now we just got to get our power, so we're going to have to cut this. And we're thinking probably. You're going to have those, you're going to have three orange guys, lumpy orange guys. something like that we can also cut these if we feel like it all right so here's the wires uh, run we've got the strips the sensor and we just got it I like these little push button guys we're giving them a try for the first time and then if this works upstairs before we shore it all completely up then what we'll do is we'll bring these wires over here tuck it in the and we'll tuck them in between the tanks and uh, make it look pretty good kind of you don't really have to waterproof them, the bay's waterproof, but I don't want to, when I'm trying to do a flush, accidentally snag one of these wires and yank this whole thing off. You can see over here on this side, we put a little bit of this, is up on the letters of the tank, the raised letters, but in the instructions it says, don't worry if they're not perfectly flat, the sensors will still work. So, we'll go up on top and plug the whole thing in and see where we're at. Okay, so we've got everything, just a rough draft hooked up right now, and all that's left is to plug it in and see does it work. Of course, we have to set it up, right? Yep, everything will have to be up. set up. All right, we don't know either. But, ta da! Power. Look at there. Okay, so what we'll have to do now is um, 
get obviously get everything cleaned up and then go through the software setup but that's online in several places I'm not going to dwell on that one I think uh, shouldn't be any big deal all right we'll get it touched up and then we'll show you the final product I got this area all neat and tidied up we kind of hit the wires over here we used some aluminum tape taped it up underneath there real good we think that should be a pretty good product so run around here Take a look at the installation at where we put the mount. All right, so there it is right there. It's actually, um, it hasn't not been calibrated yet, but we've done the um, setup for the, uh, just the setup of the regular tank itself. So that's the installation.